Hey guys, what's up? Okay, I've got several things I want to show you guys today, so I'm going to try and not be long-winded, but um, I've got a box from Georgia Charms to show you, which is not a new company to me, and I've also got a new bath bomb company that I want to open for you, and I've also got something that is not bath bombs, just something that I kind of use on a regular basis that it was time for me to reorder, and it's... It's in the Bath and Beauty vein, so I thought that I'd just kind of, I don't know, show you guys during this unboxing. So, anyway, let's get started because I feel like that if I don't go ahead and get down to business, this might be lengthy. Okay, so, let's check this out. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys, this is the top of the box. It's nice and securely packed, and then I'm just going to move it back here because these peanuts are going to go everywhere. Or styrofoam styrofoam packing okay oh my goodness okay now this little guy of course is the abominable snowman and Deb I know you're watching you made me do it you made me do it um so when I first saw this bath bomb on Georgia Charms Instagram I thought oh my gosh got to have that but it was the only thing that I really had to have at that point and of off of her Etsy shop and so I didn't pull the trigger and then she kept putting a couple more things out there and a couple more things out there and then I saw um, somebody demo this on their Instagram page and I just just continued to think it was absolutely adorable and the scent sounded really good and so Deb you know that you made me go ahead and pull the trigger and you see the size box I had to order <laughs> so anyway this is just so so cute so the scent of this is um, apples and cider, and it's just a really good winter Christmassy scent. So anyway, that is the abominable snowman, and he's just absolutely adorable demo because I've seen him demo before. Okay, so my cheat sheets just went all over the place. Okay, <clears throat> now this one. Um, now I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna save that one a little bit. Okay, now this one is, of course, this is. The Mad Hatter. Now this is pretty cool. This seems just totally just original, out of her brain. Um, I love that she's doing all these little characters um, from the movies. This one is Earl Grey Tea and Apple Scented. Now I'm not sure that this is something that I will love. I don't know. I'll have to open him up and smell him. But I think he's really cool and Ingrid actually, I'm just name dropping all over the place, over on her channel she's got an awesome um, Instagram page and she is an awesome youtuber that she she's a lot like me she um, does all kind of um, indie bath bombs um, demos on her channel and so she's done this one and I've seen this one demoed as well so this one is really cool and I think all of these are character bombs <clears throat> this one oh, is from one of my very very favorite Disney movies this one is Cave of Wonder. No, there's a lot of glare on here. This one is from Aladdin. That came out when I was a senior in high school. That's how long ago. But, um, so that's why I love it so much. And it's obviously, it's a great movie. But this one is scented in ribbon candy, spiced tea, a hint of cinnamon. And it says, it smells like a flower shop at Christmas. So let me sniff him and see what he smells like. I don't know if I pick out anything specifically in there, but it smells really good. He is really, really cute. Y'all, I know I'm talking fast. I'm doing this before my kids get home, so I'm trying to get everything done. And then, of course, spare you guys for being here all day long. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, now this, I have wanted a Grinch this whole Christmas season and there have been several vendors that have had a Grinch but um, the Mad Bombers had a really awesome looking Grinch and I know that a bunch of you guys probably saw it but I just really really didn't think that I could um, I didn't think I could do the scent honestly this one um, is scented in mulberry red apple snow crystals sage jasmine mimosa winter musk amber and vetiver woods so I'm not sure what that's gonna really smell like for me either but he was adorable and I was placing this big order I think that 
there are enough notes in here that I like that I will probably be able to do him and I think he'll be really, really good. But I think he's really, really cute. So I wanted to add him to my little cast of characters here. And this may be the last one in here for me. Um, oh, there's her card. Put that right here. There's one more in here and this one is going to be a gift for my daughter. <clears throat> Hopefully she will let me um, demo it for you guys before she takes it. Um, okay, this one says, okay, this one, she also has a Cheshire Cat bath bomb. I did not get that one, but this evidently is a sample of that bath bomb and that one is really cute too. So this one is called The Circle of Life. Love the Lion King and my daughter. I think she'll go crazy over this one. Um, so this one is scented in orange flower and amber. Now, I can't really smell too good in these. These are wrapped up really well. I don't know that this um, would be a scent for me anyway, but I did get it for my daughter. So like I said, if she... Um, sure she'll let me but if I do get to um, demo this for you guys I probably will not be taking this bath is what I'm saying but hopefully I will get to demo it for you guys but isn't it cute okay so I think that's all we have from Georgia Charms Where are we in the video? That's okay. Okay, now this one, this box is from Soap by Elena. So I've got several bath bombs from this company. And we'll see what these look like. We'll do. We'll do this unboxing, and then we'll get to the last little thing I want to show you guys. Okay. I can already tell you these are going to be a lot smaller than I thought. Um, and I was thinking that you know I give one of these away, at least one of these away, and. Um, my winter Christmas holiday giveaway, whatever. Okay, so um, we'll, let's just start with this one. This is the one that I saw on Instagram that I thought was so pretty that I wanted to um, demo for you guys. And this one is called... Hmm. Oh, I guess this... Okay, I guess this is the lily pad. It doesn't say. Okay, so it came in this cute little box, which is cute. Um, so this is scented in juniper berries with a touch of ozone. And you guys tell me if you know what ozone is. I see it in a lot of scent profiles. I'm not really sure what that means. Exactly. It smells clean. Maybe that's, um, that's what that means. But anyway, I think this is going to be really pretty. It looks like it's got a lot of embeds. So this is the one that I wanted. And it's got gold shimmer on top. Okay, and this one is called the Mermaid Medallion, and it's similar to the lily pad. And that one is actually prettier than the, the lily pad in real life. It's purple, and it's got um, like green and gold luster, the scales on top, and it's got green beds, green beds, in beds as well. And it's scented in grapes, jasmine, and forest berries. Okay, now that smells better to me because it smells like berries. Okay, that is, that is really cute. Okay, now these are all stars. And these are all the same as far as they're all the same design. But they're all different colors. Um, okay, let me start with this one. Um, and they're all different scents. Okay, so this is the teal one. And these, of course, have embeds too. And this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. 
So that's how big it is. It sits in the palm of my hand, but it's pretty thick. It's pretty thick, and I suppose it would be to have to, you know, to get that embed in there. Okay, so this one is scented in berries, cotton floss, and vanilla, and that would be um, cotton candy, I'm pretty sure, the cotton floss or candy floss. So, ooh, it's very sweet, but I'm not sure if it's sweet in a good way. Like, mm, it's not a pretty sweet. It's kind of a fake sweet. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like that one. Okay, next. Okay, so the yellow one is scented in nectarine and peach. Okay, and that is what that smells like. I do smell the peach, but I don't know. I'm not sure that I'm loving these scents. So that looks like it would be pretty as well. And again, it's the same size. Is the first one and the purple one looks the same as the first two and this one is passion fruit and papaya scented yeah that just smells kind of soapy I don't know not crazy about that scent okay so there's that one And this white one is supposed to smell like white tea and ginger, and it's supposed to have shimmer in it. My camera was dying, so sorry about that. So that's got the same kind of little embeds in it. Okay, and then it looks like, obviously, it's got little sprinkles in the top. All right, so, and it looks like it came with a nice size. Like, that's almost the size as that bath bomb, a nice size um, sample bar of soap. I don't know what scent that is, but it's a nice size sample. So, we'll see. We'll see about this company. Um, like I said, the demos on Instagram were impressive, but I have my favorite, favorite Australian bath bomb company, so we will see. Okay. Um... See. Let me just move some of this stuff back real quick. Now, this is just a side note because when I opened this package, this last package, I thought, oh my gosh, those are cute. You guys might like to see these. Um, so I am not a big makeup person. I'm not a big fashion person. I'm not a big jewelry person. What I have come to care about in my older age, as I used to be and still am sometimes with lots of sunscreen on, um, have been a sun worshiper and have not taken good care of my skin my whole life until the last several years, which is just not a good thing. Um, I've recently, in the last few years, been more into skin care. Um, and if you haven't taken good care of your skin your whole life, your makeup is just, regardless of how good you are at your makeup, it's just not going to look good because that's your canvas. I realized that way too late. That being said, one of my favorite things that I'm into right now and have been into for a while, this package is from BioBell. And it's just an envelope and it's full of sheet masks. Look how cute this is. This is like a little gift set. So I'm just going to run through these really quickly. Um, so like I said, this is from BioBell, and I'll have the link listed in, down below. Um, the ones I need now that I'm, I'm 43, if I haven't told you guys yet, um, the ones that I like a lot, I like the hydrating masks and the firming masks are my favorite ones. So I've used all different kinds and the ones for um, and I don't have really I don't know my face is sensitive sometimes but I typically don't have sensitive skin um, I don't need the ones um, with a lot of alcohol or that strip anything um, I don't need the brightening I don't there's so many kinds but I 
when you get older and your skin is typically dry and it's depleted of moisture, what you really need more than anything is moisture, moisture, moisture. That's what you need to put back into your skin. So I get a lot of the moisturizing and then also um, the firming and toning masks. But anyway, so I wanted to get in here. Um, I think these were either the Black Friday or the Cyber Monday deal. Ooh, the glitter in here. It's getting all over the counter. So this, oh my gosh, I don't know what this is. I thought it was just, oh, it is just a, it's just a little purse. That is just adorable. Oh my gosh. Now, I mean, I can't see me ever using this. I guess I might use it as a little makeup bag, but anyway, that's really cute. Um, so these were a really good deal. This little, like, gift bag with this little purse was cheaper than if, um, because I just wanted... Let's see. I basically wanted these masks that you see here, the hydrating and the firming. I basically wanted more of the, those. And you'll see those right here. And I think they're just so cute. I mean, sheet mask packaging is just on point because you just want it because it's cute. Um, let me put this down here. I also wanted to try, this is another hydrating mask, and I've tried this one, and I do like this one. This one is, um, this one says it diminishes fine lines, and it has collagen and avocado. I have not tried that one, so this was in the same vein for what I like, and this one says that it's good to put on before your makeup. A lot of them are too sticky, and it takes a long time for them to sink in, so they're not real good before your makeup, so I wanted to try this one too. So all of these just happen to be um, good for my needs, and they actually came cheaper in the package with the sale than they did if you bought them in singles. So that's why I've got that little package in the purse I didn't need <laughs> and had the glitter all over me. But anyway, that being said as well, um, so I do like BioBell, and BioBell can be, um, you can find BioBell at Ulta. So I started um, getting them there and then um, I just started buying them off the uh, BioBell website. Now also, um, the other company that I like so much is Leaders. They have really, really good sheet masks. And sheet masks, they're just cheap. They just are. And these are the best ones that I've found. These are probably two and a half or three dollars, um, a half price. They're like half price all the time. So don't pay full price and don't get the ones at Walmart for a dollar. Just pay the extra buck and get the good ones. Um, so again, this is the moisturing, moisturing, moisturizing from Leaders, and that's one of my favorite ones. So I think these were like buy one, get one free. So like I said, half off. So I got four of those. And um, this one I also like because it's, it's hard to find an exfoliating sheet mask because just most of them aren't and so I do need exfoliating sometimes I get kind of rough and scaly um, so I've already used one of these so these were buy one get one free so I got four of those too and these will last me like six months honestly um, and I think this one just came free because this isn't one that I would typically get I may put this one in a giveaway I may put a couple of these in a giveaway um, because I do have so many but when they go on a fire sale you just want to get as many as you can um, because I mean, they last for, gosh, I don't even know how long they last, but they last a while. Um, yeah, I can't even see the dates on here. But anyway, they last for a while, and I just stock up, and I just grab them when I need them. So anyway, that's one of my obsessions, as you can tell, and these are going to last me a long time. So um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put one on for you one of these days, and you'll see. Um, I just find that I can put one on and I can set my timer and I can be done with it instead of like putting 50 different things on. And I do have a certain regimen too. This is way more than you guys wanted to know in this video, but I do have a certain um, daytime, nighttime skincare regimen that I don't go by as much as I should, but I do have one that maybe if you guys, if you guys are interested in, I can share with you um, in a different video, but um, I'm just like not a guru, so I don't know if you're interested in that or not, especially since you haven't seen um, 
what I even look like for the most part. And I don't know if that's something that um, I want to get into during the next year if you guys are interested in that. And I might do some different kinds of videos for you guys, but let me know. Um, anyway, what you thought of the masks and maybe what you would like to see more of me than this coming year because I'm thinking about maybe doing some different things with the channel. Okay, so that was long-winded. That was not short, but hopefully you guys got to see some cool bath bombs and you got to see some cool sheet masks. So I will have all of these links listed down below like I usually do. And just, I don't know, let me know what you thought of this haul and just have a good day, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.